It's game time right on Entertainment TV. Let's bounce it. All right, hello, proud of US. It is game time right on Entertainment TV. As you can see, the more games is still ongoing. But I've had the one and only basketball coach. There can be basketball in Ghana, Ashanti region, Kumasi, without my one and only big bro, Mr. Techi. Mostly known as the one and only KKKKT. My big boss, I welcome you to Entertainment TV. Thank you very much. Oh, well, please, how are you doing? I'm good, and you? Well, by God's mercy, we are still moving. Well, let me look at Snappy. Actually, you came not long ago, but you've seen the game that happened just not long ago between UCC, Wildcats, and also Chiefs Basketball. What is your take on the game? Actually, like you said, I came in late, but um, what I came to see was aggression from the UCC side. I could see they were playing as a unit, they were very aggressive defensively. And you know, in basketball these days, good, good offense win games, but good defense win championships. So I tip the UCC team to go far. Wow, wow, wow. Indeed, the UCC team will definitely go far. Now, let's look at the gap. You realize that Chief Basketball is young, energetic, and they also play massively as well. But looking at the number of points that UCC Wildcats won, you realize it was very wild. So what is your take regarding that one as well? Yeah, exactly. Like I said, um, I can analyze the full game because I wasn't. I came to me the fourth quarter of the game, and I realized that um, we all know Chief. Actually, when I saw, when I came to me the school, I was a bit surprised because I expect no team actually in Kumasi to play Chiefs and win by ma that margin. But when I came, I asked who is the team in the blue said that these are guys from UCC. The UCC is not a wow. They are playing massively well and very aggressive. But um, I could see the Chiefs team. I, see some, I saw some new guys in the team that um, I think they are a bit disjointed. I mean, they could do better in the next game. But um, from what I saw, the likes of Slay, I know it's not resident in Kumasi anymore. So sometimes during this game, you have to call out of them. So if you don't have enough time to prepare, you get you look a bit disjointed in your game. And I think that's what affects them. Now, my big brother, looking at Sprite basketball games now, with you to cover it in a couple of years now, the game has been hijacked. What is the future now regarding Sprite basketball? Actually, the COVID had a hit on the game. Very big hit on the game. Um, you know, we don't have lots of competition already. The Sprite was like a savior for the game. Um, as a high school basketball player, you are playing basically one regional tournament and one national tournament in a whole year, not like a season, in a whole year. So when it came that we weren't able to play, it had a hit on it. Actually, it had a psychological effect on the player. So we had to do like a lot of counseling session for these players because you know students were so enthused about going to the Sprite ball. But unfortunately, when it came out that we couldn't play the Sprite Bowl, they were hit very hard, but we had to cancel them for them to concentrate on their studies as well. Yeah. So now, next year, coming new academic year, we realized that there was flyers circulating upon social media, so on and so forth. Is there any news regarding Sprite basketball coming again, or it was just a show up? I can't say definitely because we are not the organizers. I'm only a participant. But then, um, I also saw the flyer, like you said, um, I had to contact the organizers to find out how um, legitimate it is. But I, they confirmed that um, they are discussing it, but it's likely it will come on. Unfortunately, only yesterday I was, on, I was listening to a radio TV program and um, the deputy sports minister was on the show. And he confirmed that schools, schools and colleges sports return this January. So that gave me the hope that then it's really true the Sprite Ball might come on. So we are we are looking forward to it. Awesome. The Sprite Ball is on the way coming. All right. Now, this time around, let me ask the Poku why. What is the preparation towards the Sprite Ball coming next academic year? Actually, when it comes to us basketball, it never stops. Awesome. With or without Sprite Ball, it never stops. So um, I've been preparing for a while, but unfortunately, because there are no competition, I can't get friendly matches to play. Okay. I mean, you call your fellow school and you tell them that ah, they are not even training, so they are not prepared to play for anyone. And you can't train these kids without testing them in games and other things. So that has been the challenge, but the game hasn't stopped in my school. We are training every day. Poku awesome. are yeah. is training every day. Whichever school you are, a word to a wise is enough. You got to put on the, I mean, 
your boots, your sneakers, get to the top and bounce good. All right, lastly, lastly, what are your worries for the youngsters who are coming in the field of basketball? Your worries for them? I've always said there is more to life than just basketball. But basketball can be a means to an end. I have lots of students through basketball. They've made it to various universities, local. And recently, I had a student who got admission through academic and basketball to, to arguably the best university in the world, that's Harvard, Harvard University. That's Desmond Kujo, who completed the last two years. So I always encourage this case, from, especially from the primary school and the junior high school, that if you are good, if you are good, and you are even academically average, I mean, not only a poker, you can get to any top school in the in the nation, and that that also be a, a, I mean a stepping stone. I mean in making success both in basketball and academically as well. So I encourage them to work very hard every day. Awesome, awesome. You realize it's been a very healthy conversation between Coach KT of Opokuare. You have nowhere to be than stay glued on Entertainment TV. It's game time.